It didn't seem like Labour were going to win as commanding a position in the city as they did. And many people put down their victory in the, in the elections to a number of bold commitments made uh, during the election. Hi, my name's Nick Dury. I work as a community organiser. That means I get to meet lots of community leaders from across Glasgow and central Scotland. During the last election, my organisation, Power and Community, worked with community leaders from across Glasgow to develop a programme of things that we wanted politicians to promise that they would fulfil. These were around housing, sustainability, jobs and local democracy. As it happens, Labour won the election and in their manifesto document, Labour's 100 Promises, they made a number of important commitments. Now those community leaders that participate in this accountability campaign, now that Labour have been elected, are organising to hold Labour to the promises they made during that election. Almost all our speakers today have important things to say about accountability in this city. We do have housing laws, but nobody's enforcing them. Last year, all five tennis courts were immaculate. I did them up, they were looking beautiful. They were looking good. What happened? That's what life locked me out. A group of volunteers have in recent years managed the land. Astonishingly, these efforts resulted in court proceedings being brought by Glasgow City Council against the campaigners. I've got to the point where all I can do to the situation is take further action. I'm community Council for Pollock Shields, um, and I'm also one of the people that helps to run the Glasgow Community Activist now. Um, yes, uh, it's very much affecting uh, our community as, as others, uh, very much so as well those who are on income support due to sickness and ill health, um, both sides of the coin, whether it's people in that situation or just people who are having a hard time finding a job or finding themselves losing their benefits due to the stricter rules. During the local elections, Labour made a commitment to fight against the worst impacts of, of welfare reform, welfare cuts. Uh, how did you feel about that commitment? That was very much welcomed. Is there a chance I could have uh, a show of hands for taking this forward in terms of holding the council to account on their promises? Mm. Interviewing people who are engaged in trying to hold the council to the promises that they made during that election campaign. Things that we can hold them to account on. I think that's that's what we're yeah. really looking for, Nick. I think that's, that's exactly right. I think there are some here which are available. So 45, they rebuild or refurbish your local primary school. The sun is setting over the Mayor Hill Hub, a building in the northwest of Glasgow, uh, which was created following a sit-in of local primary schools here in Mary Hill, which uh, resulted from a wave of council school closures a number of years ago and as a result the community won investment uh, in a new family centre which has never been adequately funded. But at the last election Labour promised to rebuild or repair your local school so we're going to be talking about uh, that option and that promise with local residents who were involved in the campaign to save the school. In the city by the Clyde 